This is above water analysis of Austin's breaststroke. All right, so what we'd like to see here is a little bit tighter streamline entering the water as we've discussed before. That's a great pull out. Austin has pretty good timing early on in this 50. What we would like to see is when Austin's hands get to this point right here, with his hands under his body, we want to see his heels all the way up against his backside. That's going to allow him to explode forward into that streamlined position and glide out with power. It's going to help him with his efficiency and it's going to help him with his distance per stroke and it's also going to help him move considerably faster in the Coming into this turn, we'd like to see Austin get into and out of the wall and as tight a position as possible. So we can see here that Austin comes in nice and tight, but then he starts to swing out wide. He also doesn't keep his uh, eyes on his hand on the wall. So what we'd like to see him do is hit the wall here, drop his left elbow straight back, keep his eyes on the wall, stay low in the water, don't come up quite so high out of the water, and then bring the right hand back behind the head into that tight streamlined position. Okay, we also can't forget the pull out here. We can do that butterfly kick, but only if we have a pull out after it, before we start to move rush rope. Additionally, Austin learned a new drill this week. It's called the load and shoot rush rope drill. This is going to help him improve his timing especially as he starts to get tired and his timing deteriorates towards the end of the race. Following his underwater analysis of Austin's breaststroke. All right. So what I'd like to see here in Austin's pull is when he gets to this point, I want to see him turn his hands back in and squeeze them together underneath his body and use his elbows to squeeze together to generate power as well. Additionally, when he gets to this point in the breaststroke, I want to see his heels all the way up behind his backside with his knees together. That's going to help him stay more streamlined, and that's the timing that we're looking for so that when his heels are in position, they can kick his hands forward and he can extend into a long, tight streamline without having this uh, part of the stroke where his legs and arms are moving forward at the same time. If we can eliminate this efficiency in the stroke right here, he's going to swim with a lot more power and a lot more endurance. Austin has a lot of power, so he needs to learn how to utilize it through proper technique. Using the load and shoot drill is going to help Austin improve his breaststroke timing, and it's going to help him improve his breaststroke overall as well. We've got to make sure that we do our pullouts off of every wall. It's very important in order to take our breaststroke to the next level. As we can see here, he does a pretty good job of keeping his knees narrow, and he has very flexible ankles. He doesn't bring his knees up under his stomach, which is very good. 